how to use Midjourney to create UI and UX app design. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will show you another quick tutorial on how you can make use of Midjourney to create your UI and UX app design for your business. So here we will be using this free platform, which is the Midjourney. So Midjourney is an application that you can use to generate any artwork or any kind of design for your business or for personal use by using descriptions or text. So you can just enter the descriptions or the text of the art that you like and Midjourney will generate the artwork or the graphic design for you. So let me just go ahead and first discuss with you the difference between the UI and the UX before we get started. So here I have some example, the difference between UX and the UI. So UX, it's for the interaction design, wireframes, information architect of your design, the user research, and the scenarios. So these are the information inside the UX. And for the UI, for user interface, it's going to be for visual design, the colors of the design or of the app, the graphic design for the app, the layout, and the topography. So that's the UI. So here, as you can see, these are the sample UI and the UX design for app using the Midjourney. So here, as you can see, that we have the some examples here of the hamburgers. Let me just go ahead and make this one bigger. So over here, as you can see, we have this hamburger over here. And we have the UX and the UI design here for this website for the food. And here you can do all this design using the Midjourney. So there's no need for you to have a graphic design skills or use Photoshop or any other platform for you to create this kind of graphic design because the Midjourney can use this one to generate this kind of artwork or design that you want for your app. So to get started, you just need to first visit the midjourney.com. And before you click the join the beta or the get started button, make sure that you also visit the discord.com because midjourney only works inside the discord. So for you to make use of midjourney, you need to first create your Discord account. So just visit discord.com and create your account. And once you created an account, then that's the time that you can click join the beta for the Midjourney. And it will redirect you to this page where Midjourney will send you an invite for you to allow Midjourney to be inside your Discord account. So you just need to accept the invite or click the accept invite button here and it will automatically add to your Discord account. See here, as you can see, I already have the Midjourney inside my Discord account added as a new server. So once you have the Midjourney server, then you need to create your own server here for personal use because if you will be using the Midjourney server, you will see different artwork here of all the Midjourney users. So for you to keep your own artwork as your personal, then it's better that you add or create your new server inside your Discord and you can just add the Midjourney boot. Just click add server and then over here, just click create my own. And then just click skip this question and then just add the name of your server here. For example, it's going to be a personal mid journey. And then just go ahead and click create. And now we just created our new server for our personal mid journey. Then just go to your mid journey server again. And inside your Midjourney server, just go ahead and go to the right side and you can see this one over here. If this one is hidden, you can just click this person icon here, as you can see, to show your member list. And from here, just go to the Midjourney boot and we will be adding this boot inside the new server that we just created. So just click add to server and then just click the 
server that we just created, which is this one, and then just click continue. And over here, just click authorize. All right, so we successfully authorized the Midjourney boot to be inside the new server that we just created. So over here, you can easily create your artwork right away or the design that you like. So how you can do that, you just need to simply enter this code, which is the slash forward, and then just type in imagine, and then just click this one over here. And inside the prompt is where you can enter the description of the image, the graphic design, or the artwork design that you want this mid-journey platform to generate for you. So for example, I will enter here a UX design for hamburger. And then just comma, I will also add 3D design. And then also high quality image, add comma, and then let's also add here a background. So maybe a yellow background. And then to close it, just add two hyphen, and then enter V space four, and then just click enter. So right now I am not able to generate any artwork because I already used my free trial here. If you like to, you can also uh, subscribe to their membership so that you will able to create more artwork or more graphic design. So here, as you can see, if I had my trial, I can generate this kind of image over here. And this image, I can use this one inside the UX design for our app. So over here, as you can see, all this graphic design that you can see here, the UI, the UX design inside this app, these are all made from the mid journey. So, so let me just go ahead and click another image. Let me make this one bigger. All right, so these are the sample design here that you can also do from the mid journey. It's up to you how you write your code or the description. And once you have the graphic designs for your UI and the UX app, then you can also make use of this uh, platform, which is the Figma. So the Figma is a good uh, platform for you to create your UI and the UX design. So over here, I just uh, created my account. So I will go ahead and create, for example, an app for an iPhone. So once you have all the design that you need for your app, then it's time for you to add everything to make this kind of design over here. So as you can see here, we can create this one inside the Figma. So we have the rectangle shape here for the mobile phone. And then you can just go ahead and upload all the image that you downloaded from the mid journey. So I hope that you find this uh, video helpful. And if you have any question, just comment down below. And thank you for watching.